Who God is finally here. What's going on, y'all? I hope y'all been safe. Y'all been chilling. And y'all been wearing your mask. Yes, wear your mask. Amen. Amen. <laughs> so, we just gonna get... Well, before we get straight into it, I just want to say I ain't the best. And, you know, it might be some things that I missed or I might have overlooked. But I want to cover the most basics. I might do sp character-specific stuff here and there, but I'm going to try to make it as general as possible. So I hope this helps y'all and, you know, this helps y'all on y'all journey to, you know, being wherever y'all want to be, you know, in this place for the game. So without further ado, let's get into it. And the first thing would be floats. So for those that don't know about the floats, that is this right here. See how I'm jumping in the air? That is a float. So in order to do that, you have to learn how to super jump. Super jump is basically when you crouch and then you jump at the same time. So it's just, it's seamless for the most part, see? That's me doing the float right there. And then this is a regular jump, of course. So you can see the difference kinda in the jumps. Like if I double jump right now, that's the equivalent of just one super jump. And then if I double jump again after the super jump, I'm even higher. So, why that's important, you might say, is because when you in the air like this, you know, it's easy. You might see somebody like this able to navigate around the screen. You know, they might do stuff like this. You know, just kind of able to navigate, like, and move around the screen. See, kind of like that is, you know, hard to kind of... I'm just doing stuff, but you know, it's kind of hard to pin them down, basically. So, y'all might notice people love doing this, the up backers, I call them. Unfortunately, this game don't do a good job of really catching people that do that. So, I kind of get into it a little later, kind of how to stop it, but for now, or well, what you can do to kind of slow it down, I say. But yeah, floats is, you know, when somebody doing that, you see them jump twice, nine times out of 10, they can't do nothing else but land. You see, I can't jump twice. So that's as simple as it looked, but it's simple as it looked, I mean, but what, what happens as well as you're coming down, you can also, you know, do a normal while you're coming down. So it ain't as simple. You can 2H if your 2H is like really good. If you feel like they might, you know, press a button on their way down. Cause when you do a, a regular just double jump, your options of what you do in the air are limited. So at that point you can't dash no more. So all you can do is either try to super dash or they can vanish or you know like i was saying earlier they can press a button while they coming down but they movement options are limited they can do uh well not they but you can as well you can do like certain characters can you know do moves in the air kind of keep them in the air a little bit longer before they come down like go tanks can do it like i can do a double jump like this you know, and I can still kind of do stuff, you know, just to stop myself from coming down. So it's not easy as one, two, three, dealing with, you know, people that's floating back and floating forward and all that stuff. Plus when assist comes in handy, you know, when assist comes into play, that makes things a little, little bit spaghetti, <laughs> you know, so. That's my advice to y'all is um, utilize your super jumps because that way you're able to kind of traverse around the screen a bit more. Like characters like Gogeta, I can actually do a double jump because I still have my extra dash. So for characters, you know, for people that's listening that probably play Freeze or Adult Gohan, we got the luxury of having a double air dash so we can double jump if we want and then still do the extra dash. But if we utilize this, that's even better. So, yeah, just keep that in mind. 
Okay, so the next thing could be your assist. So I just use my assist, for example. You know, I got Broly A right now and I got Go Tank C. So some assists are easier to help you in neutral than others, like, um, you know, Broly. Then, you know, of course, C assist beam, you get hit back, get a full combo, XYZ. So some people, if you notice, or you probably don't notice, some people, like, um, they only really rely on the assist to get in. Like, if you were to eliminate that assist, they have no idea how to, you know, really navigate around the screen. So, like, the best way, and hopefully, you might be one of them people. <laughs> You might be that person that's listening right now that only is really good with your assist to help you get in, but by yourself, you ain't really doing neutral that well. So my advice is like utilize your your neutral, you know, your assist, but learn how to kind of navigate around by yourself just in the chance that maybe your, your best assist to help you in neutral is gone. So, and another thing is, let me, I should have did this beforehand. So, of course, there are some characters, like the homie S. Broly, and for those that don't know, now that I think about it, that's why people hated uh, GTA Assist. GTA Assist. Baby B, besides the tracking, but Baby B basically did the things that people hated about GTA Assist. So in regards to the float, that assist, you know, it helps to bring them down to the ground. So that's what, like, assist like that is very good just because it brings them down to the ground. I think S Broly Assist is like the only one that do that now. Oh, wait, what I'm talking about. Uh, track and C assist do that as well. They tracking, um, their tracking is not that good, but if somebody is just kind of in one spot like this, then, you know, a C assist will work. But assist like as Broly B assist, baby B to a degree. Um, and of course, GTA still kind of do it, you know, despite the nerf, but it still does. What basically as Broly does now, brings him down to the ground. And that's another thing of, um, let me see. Where the F is he at? Oh, there he is. There he is. Now, UI Goku can do this solo, which is kind of ridiculous, but, you know, it makes sense because of how strong it is to just kind of jump back and not do nothing. This move here. And then this here. And he can vanish right now. And I couldn't do nothing. Actually, let me show y'all. And I just had a CPU to to jump real quick. See? Can't do nothing. That's a true stream. So there are ways to kind of, you know, stop people that's doing up back and floats and things like that. But kind of sidetracking. Yeah, so your assists, um, you got to know how to use your assists with purpose. You know, like I play people, they just kind of just throw out their assists and, you know, just hope it works, but you know, like people will be in the air like this already, and then somebody already throwing their assist out, like you know, it's like throw your assist out with a purpose, not just throwing it out because you have it, you know what I mean? So sometimes you gotta kinda wait to know, you know, you gotta wait and know when you should probably use your assist. Now sometimes somebody else might use their assist and then I understand, you know, you want to try to counterattack maybe they assist or something like that. Now, if you got a C assist, then 
you gotta be more mindful because of the cool down but uh yeah i say that's that's about it for us just make sure you know if you play as broly or you got a character that takes um their assists or they might have a track and see assist that takes them out the f you know i i won't advise to use it depending on what assist it is because certain c assists are bad but other c assists are even better so i won't advise it but i won't advise against it <laughs> so just take that as you will how can i forget this so super dash is a good tool to use because it's um so the good things about super dash you know now you can characters have moves that they can do into an ex and combo from it you know solo or of course you can you know call assist and i messed that up but y'all get the point so super dash is a beautiful thing and it's a downside to it of course which people have a problem with they get they get too carried away <laughs> with the assist because of course you can get 2h so what a lot of people like to do they like the super dash plus assist you know because that way now you win but you know again you know they like to do stuff like that And sometimes it works, but if you are too predictable with it, you know, of course, you'll just get 2H. Like, I play people, they love to do Super Dash and call Vegito A assist. They love to Super Dash and call 17 A assist, Gotenks B, all kind of assists. Oh, they definitely love it. Uh, let me see. This the one they love right here. Gogeta B assist. Since it's so fast, people love doing that. That's kind of the reason why I don't like it, because it's, it's a one-dimensional assist, but that's that's a topic for another day. <laughs> so, yeah, Super Dash is very good to use, you know, because it can help you to get in, but it's also a case of you can possibly get 2 h if you're too obvious with it. So just try to be mindful when you um, around the screen. Like I can do this with Gotenks A assist if it tracks good. Yeah, the tracking horrible, but <laughs> I can super dash and then call Gotenks A assist and it'll wrap them up in a donut. There we go. So you can do stuff like that if you don't have like a traditional assist that just lock you in like a Lariat style like Gogeta's or a Bane. So just in short, utilize Super Dash plus assist. It's actually a pretty good option, but don't overdo it, which is the problem that a lot of people have. It's a powerful tool but people get carried away with it, which means they're going to get 2H for it. <laughs> so, yeah, just keep that in mind. So now we're talking about the people that love up backing all day. These people that just do this, you know, they're just waiting on their assists. So this is my thing that I like to do when people like to, and this is kind of character specific right here, but I'll show you what you can do in general too. So. When people like to, you know, just jump back all day and, you know, they kind of waiting on their assist to come back, you know, they just doing this, I just start leveling up. If you play Gogeta, just level up. Call your assist just to cover you in case, and then just start leveling up. That makes people rush in on you so fast when people do that. People hate that. Because, <laughs> you know, of course, who wants Gogeta to be level 7? Now... Another thing you can do is you can just key charge. 
you see, you kind of recover quick out of it. So you can um, that because that's another thing. People don't want you to have all that meter, you know, so that's something you can do. And another thing that I learned, you know, playing this game and playing fighting games in general, I have noticed people are good at doing this all day, but they are not good at people waiting. I'm going to say that again, like a preacher. <laughs> people are good at doing up back all day. But if you just sit and wait, you know, you kind of picking your spots, buying your time, key charge a little bit. You know, you kind of doing this and people don't like that. When people up back all day, they know that it's frustrating to you. They know that it's annoying to you. Some people play off being annoying, but if you were to just wait, because ain't nothing wrong with waiting. You know, nothing is wrong with waiting. You know, some people will think you just sitting here, that means you don't know what you're doing. <laughs> that means you're waiting, you know? And I've been on the receiving end of that when, you know, you're trying to make somebody, and that's what people do when they're running away, they try to just do something to make you want to rush in. And I have, you know, done that before to want somebody to rush in because they're not playing how I expect them to play or they not responding in this specific situation that I feel the way they should be responding it throws me off so you know honestly and you know you got characters I should have mentioned this earlier like as Broly is really good at you know he controls the air with this you know for all the stuff that people talk about with as Broly this move is amazing and of course the assist is amazing too brings you down and of course, if your character has an air grab, I use Broly for example, you can do this, the EX air grab. So like, you know, kind of, oh, let me see. Remember how I was mentioning earlier, you know, sometimes, and then I will, hey, buff as Broly, but you know, people kind of do this. You know, you can always kind of... Alright, maybe don't listen to me. Listen to me, but don't listen to me. That's, that's good, though. <laughs> Y'all get the idea. You know, of course, Broly, he can uh, do his air grab. Vegito has his air grab off the ground. That just goes sky high 16. So, there are ways to stop people. You know, you got this. Let me see. Alright, maybe that ain't good, but... <laughs> EX air grabs are the answer that you can use, you know, to just kind of make people stop doing up back all day. But if you don't feel comfortable doing that, you can always, you know, just charge a key, wait, kind of dash in a little, pick your spots, keep on waiting. And I'm telling you, I guarantee you, they're going to fall apart. They're going to start rushing in, trying to super dash, whatever the case may be, even if they had a assist or even if they don't have a assist. And another thing to think about when people are doing jump back all day, look at what's happening. I'm going to just show you all this. Somebody, if you're playing somebody that's just doing this all day, I want you to think about something. Where else can he go at this point? You see? Now, of course, it ain't going to be as just simple as dashing full screen like that because assistance in play. But even in the case when he by himself, probably, and he has no more assists, but he's still doing that. It's nothing. You think about it like this. Where else is he going to go? It's not an endless screen where he can keep jump doing up back jump all day. So just wait it out. I promise y'all, just wait it out against this. Unfortunately, it's not a whole lot you can do. Like, you can do something like this. Like, you know, if you you can kind of jump in the air with them, air the airs are pretty good, and then, you know, start your pressure like this. You can do that. 
That's what a lot of people like to do as well. You know, drag them down with with their normals. Because as I was saying again earlier, when they, if they double jumped already or they might not just be fully paying attention to what you're going to do. You can always try to, you know, hit them with an E to F to get them out the F. And certain characters have good normals that, you know, tag them out the F or whatever. I don't know as Broly's like that. What's his string as they coming down? But <laughs> y'all know as Broly better than me. But yeah, I think I think that's all for people that do up back all day. So let me know y'all experience. You know if this really helped y'all out and y'all run into somebody that do up back. A good practice against this is people that do that play CSS, triple CSS, because people love to just run and let they see us as charge, people love to do this. So try to practice that against them. That I feel is kind of underutilized is reflecting key blasts. So, you know, just take Broly for example. You know, the classic, people love doing this. You know, if you're too scared to super dash because you might think they scouting out a 2H, um, you can always try to reflect So, as you can see, if you block in the key blast, you still build meter anyway. And that's another thing y'all can think about too. If somebody's zoning you, you know, they probably think, oh, I got him locked down. He can't do nothing. He's like, man, ain't no chip. I'ma just keep building meter. I sit here. And that goes back to, you know, when I was saying, sometimes it's better to just wait. If you don't feel like you got a good option, waiting ain't bad neither. Cause as you can see, you still build a meter. But the topic at hand is uh, reflect. So if you reflect, you still build meter too, as you can see. You actually build even more meter. See? See how much meter I just built up reflecting? Now, of course, it won't be as simple because, you know, somebody can do something like this. And now, you know, I'm in block stun from that move, you know, or sometimes people like to do that. I'm people, <laughs> you know, like if somebody were to do this, let me see if I'm doing it right, yeah, something like that, <laughs> and another thing you can do, is you can always charge key blasts, don't forget, and you see how much meter that's building, and then you just hurry up and crouch again, you chilling. Now I say a lot of this stuff, you know, think of it as kind of cat, uh, cat and mouse almost, you know. They trying to bait you to do something. Sometimes waiting, waiting is good too. So, and again, I'm going to keep reiterating this. It's a bit different when you got assists coming into play. But, you know, still good to reflect. Or, like I said, if you want to just keep it safe, you can just block that deal's meter as well. So, this is something that is 100% underutilized that a lot of people don't do. And I'm going to show it to you right now. So, y'all see, I did the ball, 236S with Broly. I'm holding back. So, a lot of people do not punish with level three or level one supers against projectiles often enough. So let me give myself some meter. So, and it's not just for Broly. So like you can do something like this. Cause a lot of times people love to do this with Broly. And then they throw that because they expect you. The reason why we throw this is because after a while, we assume that you might try Super Dash. So that happens. So we preemptively try to do that. You can do level three. It has a lot of, that has a lot of recovery. 
Now, of course, you can also do like, in my case, my level one goes full screen. So I can do that. Now you probably, let me see, maybe you can do it as Broly. Let me see. Yeah, it's probably too slow, but let me see, can I do the level one here? Oh, that actually goes straight through. I didn't know that. You can do something like that. Now, in the case of, let me see. Uh, let me see, how can I do this? All right, so I'm gonna record him to do that. So even if I do an L level one, that's a clean punish. Certain characters have level threes where they can actually just straight up punish you if your level one teleports to them. And even better, let me see, even uh, certain level threes, Even certain level threes do it. So like I can do this. I was too high. So like if I were to do level one like this, or you know, my thing. Now of course that was a little, a little wonky because you know, I'm trying to do it at the same time, but I'm just trying to illustrate that you can, because you play certain characters, you kind of know when they want to do a beam or something like that. So you can um, counter and do level three if your level three, you know, allows you to do that. Like for baby, for example, baby level one tracks and baby's level three, you know, freezes the screen. So that's basically like is, you know what? Actually, let me show you. I feel like showing you. <laughs> Like, it's actually, like, if people utilize this more with Baby, he would be so scary. <laughs> you know, but thing is, when you get hit by level threes or level ones just just raw, then it kind of makes it hard to, um, you get blue life. So, something like this. Y'all know UI Goku love doing this. So, I can do something like this. The screen freezes. UI can't do nothing. Or, you know, I can always level one. And that's a punish. But at this point, I'm probably rambling. Y'all get the idea. Utilize, you know, y'all level ones and y'all level threes. And of course, that was a giveaway for Broly too. Y'all hate Broly so much, but y'all gotta utilize y'all supers. <laughs> I did it wrong, but yeah, utilize y'all supers. <laughs> All right, so the next thing is uh, raw tag. So raw tag is stupid in this game, but in the sense of it's actually really strong. I hate that it's so strong, but in the case of raw tag, when you're low on health, I advise not to use it unless your opponent shows that he don't know how to stop you from doing it. Hey man, <laughs> if your opponent does not know how to stop you from doing it, then, hey, if you feel like you're low on health, then go for it. But what happens oftentimes is people will be low on life like this and then just instantly do that. So what I suggest, let me actually do it on this side. For those that don't know, you could just get 2H just straight up like that. <laughs> People have a bad habit when they low on health 
they make it obvious everybody nine times out of ten is looking for you to raw tag because your character low on health sometimes what people like to do is they like to use an assist to cover you now you, as you can see it ain't nothing i can do but if you if somebody notice they can just jab you out the air like this if they know that's what you're gonna do my jab ain't that good but you know, uh, something like this. Now you're about to get smoked. So, you can do that. Like I say, if the opponent shows that they don't know how to stop you from doing this, then by all means, go for it. But if if they are showing that they, they know how to stop this, I'm going to show you right now what you can do. So... This is something that I feel not enough people use as well, is um, this right here. Okay, so I'm holding back, so let me see. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, pause, hold on, you might be thinking to yourself, I can definitely just, you know, vanish. But the point of this is you do it when the opponent has no meter. So let me tag back in Broly. So for example, if if I don't have no meter, this is a full blown super. It ain't nothing I can do. And I just got hit by the level one. It's nothing I can do. So certain characters level ones into Another character level one will kind of shield you like this. Let me see, can I do key blast? See, I recover in time. So pay attention to the opponent's meter if you feel like you got a raw tag out. So, you know, in a case like this. Oh, that was the wrong one. I probably can do Go Tinks and the Broly, let me see. I messed it up. Yeah, see? He got in for free. And Broly able to, you know, block in time. So, certain characters like TN's level 1, I believe, is just straight up safe. Which is crazy. <laughs> Uh, certain characters have safe kind of DHCs into another one. So, yeah, try to utilize that. Now, this won't work for somebody like, let me see, like UI, for example. Because he'll get punished. I'm already out of block stun from the ghost. So, let me see, could I do it from... Yeah, see, stuff like that don't work. So you just got to play around and see which assists or which characters can cancel into each other, you know, with their supers, and it'll basically shield you and get you a safe tag in. Um, Spark. Spark is very good, and that's something I feel not a lot of people use, including myself, you know. It's, um, it's very good, and I'm going to give you an example. So in this example... I'm showing that Broly doing this. The reason I got him walking forward is because I'm about to vanish behind him, which means he'll be, once I vanish behind him, he'll be holding back to block, if that makes sense. So that's why I got him walking forward. So this is something that people don't use against Broly. If you in Spark, and keep in mind, remember, Broly cannot teleport from that move. He has to, you know sit there you know it ain't much he can do so for example if he do this now you get a full combo when you in spark you just hold vanish that's if you don't know about this that's just hold vanish when you in spark so and this is you know you can use this for any character okay he blocked in time 
See, now he just got put in a combo and potentially about to die, you know. So that goes for any character. I'll show UI Goku. People love doing UI Gokus. I think UI Gokus won't work because for whatever reason, his, you vanish into the beam. I don't know why. <laughs> so disregard UIs, but everybody else, you know, like for example, you know, like Go Tanks get a full combo. So, yeah, keep that in mind about the whole vanish. And another thing is uh, that's very annoying that people use, which I suggest y'all use as well, is people like to shoot key blasts like this. So you see I got it first hit only. So people like to do stuff like this and then use their assist since you're able to hold vanish. You can do that as well. Because shooting the key blast and calling the assist, at the, uh, the assist at the same time, it makes it hard to try to reflect or to super dash the key blast since an assist is about to come down on you. So keep that in mind. And vantage works as well. Vantage works in situations like this. Say, for instance, Gotenks has one bar left, or one hit left, and he has no meter. For whatever reason, he decides to, you know, he decides to shoot a beam. You can punish him by, you know, using Vanish real quick. Now, of course, you can't Vanish like this regularly, because, you know, of course, they can 2 h you. But when I say UI Goku, oh, that actually worked. Maybe in the air, I guess that don't work. That's so silly, but anyway. <laughs> yeah, so Vanish is another option that you can use while they doing, you know, beam or they down to one hit. Well, I say pay attention to they, the meter. If they doing something like this, you know, of course you can normally Vanish this, but he has no meter. So... Now you can, uh, you know, punish him. Let me see, can I get it? Oh, he's blocking time. Maybe he got too much recovery. You can, you know, but this, at this point, this mainly about filling out your opponent to kind of see what they about to do. So, um... If they like to just shoot 5S all day, you know, this can be something. And this is something, too, that people don't do with Broly or against Broly. You can always just try to vanish, and you'll be surprised. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, this only 850, but that little damage adds up. Now, that's kind of a back and forth thing between you and the opponent, where the opponent might have about six bars you got five but you keep spending your meter you know so it's kind of like a uh kind of like a game of chess almost internally between you and the opponent but something like something like this goes a long way say for instance if broly only got you know there's much health left if the opponent is silly enough to keep thinking that you know, they're going to keep taking the hits. Eventually, stuff like that adds up. But it puts that into the opponent's mind that you will try to vanish. And you can also do this when you inspire too, which punishes him. But as I said at the beginning, things are a little different when it's assists. But a lot of times, Broly players, and myself included, we feel like we're invincible. And the opponent finna let us just shield up and we don't need to use an assist to cover us. So, it's fair game. <laughs> but, alright y'all, it was definitely one thing I forgot to mention. I can't believe I actually got all the way to this point and forgot it. <laughs> but, the last thing is, 
key blasts and excuse me, key blasts and uh, beam. So key blast is is a risk and reward to key blast. So for example, you know, if you were to land a key blast, you know, you get a little combo. Of course, you could do a little more depending on your character. And if you got assists, you know, let me see. I'm not using my team, so I don't know what you really get from Key Blast with this team in particular, but I know for sure. <laughs> Good old C assist. Hold on, wait. Okay, let me make sure. All right, there we go. I know you can do something like this with Key Blast. You know, get a confirm with C assist. Now, I can do this with my team with Gotenks A, but for the sake of this, you know, not to drag it out or none, you can do, you know, something like that. Or, you know, actually TMB assist. You know, you get something like that. And, you know, you get some nice stuff with that. And you can, of course, you can 2H people. So it's kind of like a flip side to it. Sometimes you can't get carried away too much. That's the problem that some people have. When you have Key Blast, it's kind of like, uh, I got to use the Spider-Man quote, you know, great power comes great responsibility. <laughs> you know, so as nice as it is to have stuff like this, you can get super dashed on for it. So you got to be careful with trying to just throw out too many. Now, throwing out one or two is good because at least that way you're able to easier, it's easier to react in 2H rather than kind of doing it like that. Doing it that close is scary too, but like somewhere like this, you can do something like that. So, and like I was talking about earlier with the, uh, you know, with the key blasts and you know, the whole Vanish and Spark thing I was talking about, that still applies here. So, you know, be careful when you're using Key Blast. And, of course, some characters have ways, you know, they can shoot Key Blast in the air. And that's something to be careful about, too. So, like, for example, Vegito. I'm trying to see. You know, like, something like that. Just something like that can make a difference. You know, when you're shooting the beam or something like that. You have super jump height, you know, something like that can scope people out, especially when they want to, uh, let me see, you know, when they doing a beam, for example, let me see, messed it up, oh, uh, Goku's angle down, oh, okay, there we go, you know, something like that, none, none too crazy. But, you know, just something to keep in mind about. Now, the next thing is uh, beams. Beams is something that's really good, too. Because just like what I was showing with CSS, you can confirm. You know, you get the hit confirm. Depending on your, you know, like if you can kind of see you got the hit confirm, you can kind of just go into another combo from there. Or, you know, even with a B assist, you know, depending on what your B assist is. See? You know, just a little something. And like I say, I know you can get way more, but it just give you an idea, like, you know, you can do stuff like that. Now, some characters, I know Cell has it, GT has it, you can base Goku do too. You can angle your beam in the air and super dash. You can whiff super dash like that. Now, I have seen some people, they'll do some random like this. And then super dash, please don't do that. <laughs> Just straight up, please don't do that. It ain't finna throw the opponent off. You know, it might work one time or something like that, but don't do that. This, this is a horrible tactic to even include in your arsenal, in my opinion, at least. So, now, like, by itself, don't do that. But maybe, like, you know, with an assist, you can 
you know, do something like that, because at least that way you kind of cover in the F. Oh, and I actually got the hit confirmed, too. You know, so that way. Confirming a super dash, and you dragging them down to the ground, and then you continue your pressure from there. But trying to do this solo and throwing the opponent off, don't do that. <laughs> And some characters also have this. You know, you can do Bean from the F. Which is also very good because, you know, situations like this. Oh, did it wrong. You know, some cool like that. Or, you know, simply, if somebody's shooting Key Blast. You can do that. And then some characters have, you know, and like I was saying earlier, you can, uh, you know how you're able to level three and all that good stuff and level one soup um, beams. That's something to be careful about. Now, characters like this with, you know, they drag down they beam, like TN, for example, is a bit different. Just kind of how to handle it. Now, in my opinion, I feel like you can somewhat abuse this with TN and Krillin because you don't know which way they gonna do it. <laughs> so this is something very good, I feel. Now, in the case, like, certain characters got one key blast. I meant to talk about this earlier. Now, if your character had one Key Blast, or in Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta case, no Key Blast, you're just gonna have to do a lot of waiting and playing around with your assist, you know, so. And plus, one Key Blast, it's kinda easier to scope out a 2H, or scope out a Super Dash, so you can 2H. But, back to the beams real quick, so, Krillin, when Krillin do it, this is so annoying. How, how I do it? Yeah, like this here, like... You know, it's it's hard to... to kind of really pin him down, because he has this. And he recovers so fast from the beam. So it's like, <laughs> kind of hard to punish him. And he's so small. But, you know, the same things that I was saying about punishing beams with level 3 and level 1. It applies to TN and Krillin as well. It's just that they are a little bit harder to punish just because of how, you know, it's kind of hard to pin them down because of how they're able to angle their beams and kind of control where they going a little bit. But, yeah, that's it. That's it. <laughs> I thank y'all for listening and thank y'all for making it to the end of the video. Sorry that it's long, but I did my best to try to explain it, you know, the best way I could, and I really hope this helped y'all, and if there's things I missed, things I probably might be overrating, you never know, whatever, uh, hey, let me know in the comment section. We all here to help each other grow, you know, and yeah, just let me know in the comment section. Y'all know I always reply, so with that being said, Y'all have a nice, peaceful, blessed, and prosperous day. And I will see y'all fine folks next time.